great great day great day great day okay they want me to do we ain't doing it All right, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I don't know what this thing got going on right here. I don't want to do that. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this thing. I'm just trying to figure this out. This is a new lane for me. Hallelujah, glory to God. So check this out. Who I am, God made me, what I am, he shaped me, where I got to go. Only the Lord knows, and he's definitely going to take me. But if you must know, I go by the name of Lady D. Woo, woo, the truth seeker. My government name is Denise, and uh, my last name is, you know, whatever my last name is. It's still my last name. You know, ain't what it is no more. But for right now, that don't even matter, sugar. Just listen to the words that's going to come out of my mouth. How about that? So look, check this out. I was looking, you know, and scrolling through the word, you know, and uh, I ended up dropping in on a live of uh, Mighty Woman of God. And uh, she confirmed what the Lord had been dealing with me on. And uh, where you at? And um, I want to show y'all a video first, and then I'm going to expound um, on that, because I believe that we in trouble with the Lord, and we need to fix it. <laughs> we in trouble with the Lord, babe. It ain't, and it don't even, ain't got nothing to do with a religion right now, which we the people. Because we the people done messed up. And so we the people got to fix what we broke in order for God to heal the land. You know what I'm saying? And I know that um, uh, you know, a lot of us is going to take a little minute for us to grasp the concept of the kingdom. In earth as it is in heaven. So, I'm not expecting, you know, the masses to hear what I'm saying or even the church, you know, but I need you to listen. It's no other than Kamala Harris's stepdaughter. Vice President Kamala Harris' stepdaughter, Ella Emhoff, stole the show when she made her first appearance on the Balenciaga runway in Paris Fashion Week last year. Ella is an American model, artist, and fashion designer that not only has walked the runways of Balenciaga, but also Adidas, which again has a collaboration for their spring-summer line of 2023. Going on her Instagram, she still has the pictures up of what she wore during the Paris Fashion Week when she was walking for Balenciaga. Also on this particular picture, she also stated a thank you for the current creative director, Demna. 
And most recently, Demna just came out with an apology, apologizing for the brand for the controversial ad campaigns that we have been talking about all week. I'm off and I'm here in Paris right now to do the Balenciaga show tonight. It's raining outside. I don't know if you can see, but there's a red carpet behind me. There's no seats. All I know is that Balenciaga does the most interesting and creative shows of the season. So come along with me. Let's go inside and see what's up. C'est une américaine et là est mauve, bruit de l'Itol au sol sur la moquette volontaire pour marquer de vrais faux stages de café pour ne surtout pas faire neuf. Just this year, she was featured in Bazaar's 2022 Icons issue, and they named her one of their most iconic people of the year. Now the silence of a lot of media outlets makes sense. It's going to be very hard to talk about a company in which the vice president's stepdaughter works for, Balenciaga. Now, that was... Uh... I am Courtney Michelle. Now, um, I, um, <sighs> when I come, I like to come with substance, okay? And something that will make us think about the decisions that we've made thus far. In society that shapes our world. Um, we already know that in Jude. The Lord going to deal with them demons. And all them spirits. But we have to. Accept. What we have. A allowed. To construct our world. What we gave credence to. That is literally causing. The demise of the people in whatever country, whatever state, whatever religion, whatever color you are. If you are in agreement with any of these people that's affiliated with these people or well, these entities because they're no longer people, their souls are gone. Then we got a problem and you are part of the problem and God is trying to repair the breaches and we can't repair the breaches until we acknowledge or come to the realization that we, it's our fault. We did this. I'm saying we, even though I ain't do that, but I'm saying we because we all included. It's an all-inclusive thing. It's a we the people thing. And it's we the people going to have to fix it. So let me go to the word, sugar. How y'all doing? Revelations 18. After all this, I saw under... After all this I saw, another angel come down from heaven with great authority, and the earth grew bright with its splendor. He gave a mighty shout, Babylon the great has fallen, is fallen. She has become a den of demons, a haunt of devils, and every kind of evil spirit. For all the nations have drunk the fatal wine of her intense immortality. The rulers of earth have enjoyed themselves with her. And businessmen throughout the world have grown rich from all of her luxurious living. Then I heard another voice calling from heaven. Come away from her. My people, come away from her, my people. Do not partake of her sins, or you will be punished with her. For her sins are piled as high as the heaven, and God is ready to judge her for her crimes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he ready to Georgia for a crime. Do to her as she has done to you and more. Give double penalty for her evil, for her evil deeds. She brewed many of 
Many, she brewed many a cup of woes for others. Give twice as much to her. She has lived in luxury and pleasure. Match it now with torment and with sorrow. Her boast, I am queen upon my throne. I am no, no helpless widow. I will not experience sorrow. Therefore, the sorrows of death and mourning and famine shall overtake her. And in a single day, she shall be utterly consumed with fire. For mighty is the Lord who judges her. Listen. Humans. These people, these elements that we have voted for and we worship. I even saw where a lady went after she was uh, nominated for uh, vice president after they, they won it, after they yeah, stole that, all that. This woman, a black woman, went and got her whole body and face done to look like Kamala. That was a waste of flipping money, sugar. First of all, why you want to look like somebody else? God, if you did make it in, you ain't going to recognize you, sugar, because, you, you know, you just didn't mess up his whole little DNA package for you. Mercy, Jesus. Anyway, y'all, I know y'all saw the video. Go look it up. It's uh, I am Courtney Michelle. I don't, I just start. I just found her, you know, and, you know, it bore witness with something that the Lord had already been dealing with me on. All of these people... All of these entities, all of these elements that are in of this party in the political arena are in bed with the Balenciagos and the Gucci's and the Coochies and the Adidas and the Nike and all of them people. All of these people are in bed together. And those those entities have devised a plan to, they follow the, the Godstones. Yeah. So they all in bed together. Everything and every mountain of influence. And here's the thing. In order to flip the tables, first you're going to have to go get my book, How to Bring Heaven to Hell. I mean, heaven and earth as it is in heaven. Go do that. Amazon.com. Hallelujah. Get all three of them, as a matter of fact. But uh, they've devised a plan. And they are already manufacturing robots, baby robots. <laughs> That's gonna, I guess they're going to grow up to be, you know, I don't know. All I know is uh, we the people going to have to stand up. We the people going to have to stop complying with this systems of this world. We the people are going to have to give them back they all the days, give them back whatever we didn't got from them, and Stand still and see what the salvation of the Lord. We're going to have to stand on the faith that was, was delivered to the saints. We're going to have to stand on the faith that was once delivered unto the saints. We're going to have to come out from among them and be ye separated, says the Lord, and touch no more the unclean thing. You see, we all so big, so caught up in traditional lies and, you know, mesmerized by all of the lies for all of the years and indoctrinations from the indoctrination stations. And now it's time for us to get a clue. Like, come out from among them and be, get your kids out. We, God send labels into the vineyard to raise up uh, kingdom, apostolic kingdom, kingdom um, buildings and kingdom operations and keeping kingdom organisms so that we can pull our children out of these public school systems and being indoctrinated. Because all of this is designed by design by these people. Y'all know that the Valencia, all them people just, they been pedophiles on 9,000. Sodom and Gomorrah countries. And at some point, we, we the people going to have to get a clue and say, you know what? I'm not doing that no more. You know what? I'm coming out of this, this system. I'm coming. You know what? I don't care about no bunny and no eggs. I don't care about no Christmas trees and no turkey. You know, I can eat turkey every day if I want to eat turkey. Who said I got to eat turkey on one day? Who said I could only have a ham on one day? Who said I could only have some good old mustard greens, you know, and candy yams for one day? Every quarter. We got the power 
to change the whole entire trajectory of the way everything has been popping off out here in these streets. But we have to have in our minds that, okay, I'm not going to be conformed to this world anymore. I'm not going to be controlled and dictated to by the rulers of this world. See, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, wicked rulers of high places. The wicked rulers of high places is these people I just showed y'all on this video. All them people is in bed together. How be it so that, you know, she the top model for Balenciaga. That's your precious vice president's daughter. That don't give you pause somewhere up in your shanana, if you still got a shanana. They, everything is by design. Zelensky just left. I don't know if he's done left. He's been here. He just got here, you know, whenever he got here. They kissing the ring of uh, that man and funding all of their wars and, you know, homeless people in America and, you know, America as a whole. They got hundreds, hundreds, homeless people all over the entire globe, the world. But especially the United States. But they could take and give billions and billions of dollars to fund a flipping war that ain't even a war. They manufacturing robots to take the place of the people. That ought to give you pause. They're manufacturing this eases into the atmospheres, the stratospheres, and the hemispheres. They send in storms and freeze war, freeze storms and you know, snowstorms and storms and storms and rains and all of that stuff in order to dismantle the immune system, to break down the immune system. Because you know people got to get out and move around. So, you know, if you're not covered correctly or dressed appropriately for whatever uh, element that they slung it out there in these the atmospheres, then your body is not going to combat it as it should because you're not covered. And they know, you know, people in the South be looking for cold weather sometimes. You know, we done had Chicago weather in Louisiana for the last few weeks. All over the South. That don't give y'all pause. That don't make you wonder what's really going on out here in these streets. These people don't give a flying flip about us. They want to work their agenda and their agenda only. And guess what? They want our babies and our placenta and our, you know, all of that stuff. Organs and all that stuff. They want all of that because they make money from all that stuff. It's a whole lot of, it's a lot of methods to this madness. It's a whole lot of stuff that's going on undercover. And we got to get a clue. And we got to come out from among them and be ye separated, says the Lord, and touch not no more the unclean thing. I'm reminded of what happened in, in Tulsa when they had to set, set it up outside of the systems. They set it up the way God intended. But the systems didn't like that, so the systems went in and, you know, did what they did. Well, right, they can't stop us no more. We ain't live, reliving history no more. We're not doing none of that. We're going to come out of the system. We're going to be separated. And we ain't touching the unclean thing no more. In the name of Jesus. And we're going to unify. I don't know how we're going to do it. We're going to have to do it off the grid. But we're going to have to do it. And we're going to have to move swiftly. Because there's not a lot of time to be playing around because they got a plan, baby. They got some plans, baby. And they about to try to send us into another pandemic. And we got to know how to stand. And have it done on the do, still stand. Stand on what? Stand on the word of God. The faith that was once delivered unto the saints. Stand on the fact that he was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities and that the chastisement of his peace to go through for our peace. The go the, in between all that that he had to go through in order for us to have peace is a, was upon him at the cross, at the cross, at the cross, at the cross, at the cross. That they had turned upside down, by the way. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. 
We got to know this. That would have shall shout it out. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we already here. Because the faith that was once delivered to the saints lies within us. We don't wrestle against flesh and flesh and blood. It's powers, powers, wicked rulers, principalities in high places. The prince of the air. That dude. I was about to say something else, but I can't say that, you know. We're going to have to unify. We're going to have to, we're going to have to accept that, you know, the people that we so worship ain't for us. We gonna have to accept that the 44 and the 46, you know, it's questionable. We gonna have to accept that, you know, God is trying to help us and hope us into the kingdom of heaven on earth as it is in heaven, but we have to understand, overstand that there is a method to their madness and there is a plan that they have already put in place all the way up to 2030. But they got to get rid of as many people as they can. You know, they got to follow, follow the guidelines of the God stones. They got to get rid of as many people as they can because they really want to usher in this Jetson age. That's why you got the robots being, you know, developed and all of that. You got baby robots that you got put in... They got a robot factories. <laughs> I hear these streets. Look it up. They got ro Google it while you can. Because Google is tied with the people too. And I don't know if they're going to let this video go through. Because YouTube didn't kill me. They didn't just cancel me. <laughs> Damn. I don't know. So I'm here trying to figure it out. You know. I'm trying to work my way through. <laughs> but y'all. It's a lot that is going on. It's a lot that has gone on. It's a lot. That is coming down the pipeline that we need to be aware of and we need to be able to stand. God is setting up apostolic, apostolic hubs throughout the whole United States in order to sustain the people. There are some mega churches that are going down, point blank, period, because they ain't got the heart of God. They ain't got the heart for the people and the souls of the people. They don't care about the people. All they want is the money. They want the shmoney, man. They want the shmoney. They want the shmoney, and they want to slang your souls to Satan and just slung it out there. Hell opens her mouth daily for souls. Hell opens itself wide every day for souls. Don't let that be said you, being connected to these mega churches that are sending you down a rabbit hole for your soul and everything else, that, you know, that's, that's God. Because they don't have the heart of God. So you have to use discernment to who you're going to connect with in the kingdom of God. Because the kingdom is at hand. And we the kingdom suffered violence and the violence take it by force. How do we take it by force? We, you know, we, you know, we strapped, but we ain't about that life like that. Okay? We go down in prayer. Praise, worship in the word. We go down by see under that see. Prayer, praise, worship, and the word. It's how... We're able to stand against the wiles of the enemy. It's time out for playing and tiptoeing through the toodles with Satan and his imps. It's time for us to get a true understanding of what we have really come in alliance with and denounce, renounce, and come out from among them and be separated. And don't touch no more the unclean thing. And I know this is, you know, hurtful to some people. Because you just can't believe that your precious, you know, Kamala and... You know, Democratic Party can be wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up with this Beliciago and all these other people. But they are, sugar. And it ain't even so much as about a political party right now. It's about the kingdom of light against the kingdom of darkness. And right now, you know, some things are questionable. And we want to stay within the kingdom guidelines. We want to stay within the kingdom of God. We want to stay with them, whatever so things are pure, whatever so things are lovely, whatever so things are of a good report. That is what we want to be in alliance with. We don't want no longer to be in alliance with Satan and his imps. Because then people don't have our heart and mind. Can't y'all tell? Don't y'all see how the world looking right now? And everybody, everything is that they stand for us for the Alphabet Soup Committee and pedophilia.
And I love y'all for real. But I don't have time to play. I do not have no time to be playing with. I ain't got no plan to play in the devil's camp. I ain't got time to be tiptoeing to the toe through the two groups with him. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings, but I'd rather hurt your feelings and save your soul, sugar. I'm just saying. Then people is wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up in this whole conundrum. And they got the world and the, the people all jacked up in their minds thinking that they for right and when they for wrong. On so many levels. I go get go get my books. And don't just read them. Buy them, please. Buy at least one of them. But, you know, they got some nuggets in there. I can't really say what, you know, I just can't really say. Oh, oh just go get them. And uh, we definitely going to have to connect off the grid, the chosen generation. See, how you know who chose it? They ain't really trying to be out here in these streets, you know, making a name for themselves. You know how many? Y'all, I done got letters upon letters upon letters upon letters of trying to get into different kind of, folks just want me to get in all kind of stuff. Miracle money cover. I don't want no part of none of that stuff. I done just turned down a whole entire check that I think was a fraud drilling, but, you know. <laughs> if it ain't got God's approval, I don't want it. And that has to be the posture of our hearts. If God ain't in it, I don't want no part of it. Point blank, period. We come into alliance with so much that is not of God. And in the church, y'all. Y'all, now I know y'all seen what y'all precious. What I don't know what that forgot that main name. I don't even want to think of his name. Uh, y'all know what I'm talking about, the weed man. Him. That ought to give you pause right there. Because, I mean, you know. <laughs> you know. I know marijuana is used for medicinal purposes. And then you wait till I quit smoking to decide y'all want to go ahead and make it okay for church folk. Really? Well, it's not to be distributed in the church. How about that? We ain't having weed parties at the church. And I said what I said. Anyway. Come out from among them and be ye separated, says the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, not now, not the gate. Y'all saw the video. Go back to the beginning of the video so you can see the video or look it up. It's, her name is I Am Courtney Michelle. And um, search your heart. The scripture just said what was going down. And that's what happened. See, the rulers of the earth have enjoyed themselves with her. <laughs> Babylon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And the businessmen throughout the world have grown rich from all of her luxurious living. The rulers of this world have been grown rich, rich through Balenciaga and Gucci and Gucci and Nike and all them people. I ain't never been one to be running up. I ain't never been one to run behind nobody's brand name because I always had a, like, why I'm wanting to pay all this money for you to pay your name? What do you represent? You got to have a meaning, like something, you it got to mean something for me to put it on my mind, on me. For me to represent it, it's really got to mean something. We got to come from among them and be separated, says the Lord. Search your heart. Go look up this video that I just showed y'all. That's just one of many, but I'm just dealing with this one right now. Because I don't want to be long. But search your heart. Search your Holy Ghost. And see... Try the spirit by the spirit to see if it be a God. Because a lot of y'all saw blackness. Y'all didn't see the spirit behind the individuals that y'all was voting for. You didn't. You didn't. Don't lie. You didn't. And now the things that are unfolding, it's hard to believe that, you know, you've aligned your soul with this. And once you're in agreement with something, your soul takes on the possession of whatever you're in agreement with. So... Think about that, sugar. I know y'all hate Trump, but, you know, Trump was trying to help us. He was trying to warn us about all this stuff. He was trying to stop the border crisis by covering up the borders. But, you know, as soon as them people got in, they took down the borders. And now the whole world has been infiltrated. 
This ain't no Trump commercial. I'm just trying to shed light on some things. And, you know, now they, you know, <laughs> you know, all they come up with the January 6th thing and they try to throw him under the bus when they know that he was just telling y'all the truth. It's a lot that we've come in agreement with y'all that we shouldn't have. And the only way to combat this common enemy, which is Satan and his cohorts, is to come out from among them and be separated and touch not the unclean thing and reestablish. Every mountain of influence has someone, some people in it that don't agree with what we have been accustomed to believing. Every mountain of influence have people that are righteous and want to stand for righteousness. Well, we need to come out from among them and unify and stand. And having done all the stand, we got to still stand. Not with our loins girded with truth. You hear me? The truth of the gospel of Christ, which is in us, who is the hope of glory. Yeah. We got to seek ye first again. Seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness and everything else we had to see. God didn't come here talking about Christianity. He said, my kingdom is not of this world. So we got to come into kingdom mindsets in order to understand the things of the kingdom and to see past what's really going on so that we can bring heaven to earth as it is in heaven. We ain't got time to be playing around. We ain't got time to try to figure it out. And I know this ain't, you know, palatable to a lot of people. That's why, you know, they didn't cut me off from uh, YouTube. I don't know why. I know why, but, you know, <laughs> the people that know me know why. But they cut me off from YouTube. I, I don't know if this going to go through or not. Um, you know, uh, so I wrote it in a book. So go buy my books. And that's just some of what I just shared a little bit in the books, what I could. But there's a lot that, you know, it's a lot that God wants to enlighten us with. Because we've been so engulfed in our belief systems that have been taught to us from generation to generation through these HBCUs that were set up in order to indoctrinate us and throw us off from the truth. It's a lot. So, in the background is playing Sinatra, and I don't own the rights to no music, but uh, not yet, because I'm, yeah, me and Pops, me and, me, and, me and Big Daddy gonna have some music, yeah, we gonna have some music, and we gonna have, we gonna have a whole lot, a kingdom empire, yeah, built by God himself. But uh, when they show up, when they finally come holler at you, girl. But uh, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm I'm I'm, I'm building. <sighs> Y'all, humans. There's a lot of things that are coming down the pipeline that are being exposed, and I thank God for the people that are exposing the truth. Of stuff that I've been saying since 2006, 2009, and they've been shutting me down and shutting me down, and I never knew why. Now I understand why. Because they can't stop it no more. Because you can shut me down, but other people talking. So to God be the glory for that. I ain't trying to have my names written in lights. I don't care about all of that. I really don't. I just want the people to be free. In their souls, in their souls, in their souls. So this peace that I have, and though I got a lot of stuff going on, the peace of God that surpasses all understanding, rest, rules, abide, and abide in my very members for real. In spite of what I may be dealing with in the natural. Is what it is. I'm as real as you're gonna get. You can't get you can't get no realer than Lady D. I'm sorry. You probably can, but you know, I ain't in competition with nobody but me yesterday. Cause I need to be a little better. 
at doing this little video thing, but it, you know, I get frustrated when I keep getting shut down and cut off and all of that stuff, because I don't, I'm not for to tell the Lord, I ain't for to say that, <laughs> so I don't know what to tell y'all, but, uh, go back and look at the top of the video, go to the top, the top of the video, and, yeah, do the research for yourself. It's a lot that's about to come out that's for real that doesn't came out, but people don't believe that it is what it is, but it is what it is. You know, it got to be a reason why the alphabet community was awarded or allotted so many different amenities then, and now they're being made manifest. You got to look at this thing like it's showing up here, sugar. And I know it's going to, you know, offend some folk. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Because the truth is the life. And the truth is what makes one free. And when we start walking in the fullness of the truth, whoo, Lord, have mercy. God can do miraculous wonders in the earth realm. In real life. Mm-hmm. So... You tune in to Lady D, the truth seeker. Always seeking the truth, baby. I don't know nothing but. I love you. Blessings and favor and strength from the peace of God that rest rules and abide. Upon you. May God continue to keep you. One love. It's only one love. The kingdom of God in heaven. Straight up. It's just me, Lady D, the truth seeker.